Do not make a noise. Got you! Yes! I will hold on to that for you. A new day, another test. I should get back. Alamut Fortress takes my breath away. As if it leaped out of the Hikayat I heard when I was a child. If you do not have faith in yourself, then who will? There you are. Are you ready? I, uh... I think so. Put yesterday out of your mind. It has no bearing on today. Get dressed and we can begin. Go on, Basim. Like we practiced. Yes, Master. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. You look strong today, Basim. Keep training. Steady, Basim. Steady. I've seen enough. We will try again tomorrow. I felt fine. I can see it in your body. You lose focus too easily. The leap of faith is a crucial step on your path to initiation. It is one of the Brotherhood's first and most sacred rites. To perform it successfully, you must first center your mind, body, and spirit. Embrace the fear. Quiet it. Find a stillness, and let go. Yes, Master. Let's return to the camp. May I ask you something? You may. Back in Anbar, at the palace, I witnessed a meeting between the Khalifa and five masked men, order members. The Khalifa was meant to protect the object they discovered, but he knew nothing of their plans for it. He did not even know them by name. How does the most powerful man in Baghdad bend such a fearful knee to the faceless? The Order has held dominion over such men and their empires for centuries by convincing them of their truth, that they are the natural arbiters of the world. The Khalifa was but their puppet, and the same will be true of whomever succeeds him. The entire Khalifa is under their influence. Basim, speak with Fulab and see if he needs help. We will continue your training later. Yes, Master. Have you seen Mentor Rehan in camp? He is preparing to receive the Tahari emissary, Master. Thank you. How is Noor the brave eagle? Will he fall or will he soar? You will soar, Ya Sadiqi. 
Inshallah. Thank you. We have a similar spirit, you know. What gave you that idea? One of the Banu Musa was angry at you and you were unfazed. Remember? I did not touch his hammer. You refused to apologize for something you did not do. I respect that. Stubborn, like me. I have been called worse. Have you seen Fulad in camp? I have seen him speaking to Ahmed near his office. Araka lahikan. I may get back to you on this. Of course. Ah, what is this in the corner? Here. A small design. It is my signature. So you know I created this, and not Al Hassan, or worse, Abu Jafar. I just you understand, Wadan. Ah, Basim, how are you? Yes, Enkidu, food is coming. He is intelligent, and intelligence is supposed to rhyme with patience. Reminds me of someone. Have you been speaking to Master Roshan? Have patience. Be kind to your progress. I will take this to heart. Roshan asked me to come see you. Ah, yes. Rebecca needs leather strips. Can you fetch those from the storeroom? I shall, Fulal. Araka Lahekan. That is not it. It is hard to find anything in here. No, that is not a strip of leather. within the Caliphate are beginning to put pressure on us. Forces? You mean the Order, Raban? I... can only speak of what I know, Ya Sadari. The Caliph wishes to nullify the rebels, and if you persist in giving them support, we cannot assure you protection from any... Caliphate response. The rebels supply us with information in Baghdad. Without them, we are blind. Be that as it may, Governor Muhammad is very committed to showing that he can end this rebellion swiftly. <laughs> I do not doubt that. I came to warn you. Things are moving fast in Baghdad. You may have to act sooner than expected. I hear you, Arban. So the Tahirids who govern these lands are the only thing standing between Alamut and a full-scale attack. A fragile peace. How long will it last? Rebecca? Basim, Basim. Are you just wandering the camp aimlessly now? No, I have this leather for you. Will it do? Apparently, you've moved past the wooden swords. I protested, but Roshan insisted. Here is your dagger. And your sword. I am proud to have worked on them. Hmm. Hmm. 
This blade has character. Why would I make anything less than unique? I am in your debt. I was not expecting new weapons today. Repay me by using it on the Order. Make them feel the sharpness of its character. Roshan said you had further training today. Show her that new sword of yours. I look forward to it. Blessings upon you, Basil. How does training go, Yasodiki? Nor showed me a new way to grip my knife, and it has improved my accuracy greatly. If you throw it just so, it sails through the air, swift and true. Shall I remind you how to use a knife? Ya yeah, Elahi, well done. You have inspired me to train harder. This is the way, Yasodik. Good work. Until tomorrow. Basim, time for combat training. I was surprised when Rebecca handed me this. Is a sword not a coarse weapon for a hidden one? As hidden ones, we must become proficient with a number of weapons. You never know how a fight will escalate. Anyone can wield a sword. But how would you use it? I am here to learn that, Master. Are you truly here? Well, yes. I believe so. You are here in body. But are you here in mind and soul? Is this a riddle? No. It is the difference between life and death. Make sure you target and circle around me. Never turn your back on your opponent. Yes, better. Show me your quick stabs first. Good. Yes. I'm waiting for you. There are times when we must put more force into our attack to cause more damage. It will leave you exposed, so time it properly. Now go! That's it! Come in strong! Excellent! Now, for defense, you can parry the attacks of your opponent. After a few successful parries, your opponent will be stunned. Try to parry my attacks. Yes! Some attacks cannot be parried and must be dodged instead. Prepare yourself. Good work. 
That's the way. Well done. Now, let us try a free fight together. Use what you've learned. That took me by surprise. Well done. Hey, wake up. Bring your head up right now. that come from? We are done for today, Basim. Why must we stop? I learned nothing from failing. True learning requires action and stillness in equal parts. You have made the action. Now, seek the stillness. Do not rush your training. Be patient. Failure is a part of progress. Think on these words, and come back better. Yes, Master. I will. Good. See you later. Ahmed will soon go back to the House of Wisdom. I fear he may end in the middle of a snake's nest. I know how close you are to your brother. We shall learn more soon. Then we can act. Assalamu alaikum, Abu Jafar. It is Ahmed. Ahmed, my apologies. Do not worry. Come and warm yourself by the fire. Our brother Ahmad is leaving us tomorrow. To Baghdad, the house of wisdom. The House of Wisdom? We have been working there, my brothers and I, for years. I still have some things to work on. Science waits for no one. And I will fulfill my duty as a hidden one by becoming your eyes and ears among the scholars. Fulath, tell Basim the story of the feather. Our tradition of the feather comes from Egypt. They represent the feathers of Ma'at. The feathers of the heron were dipped in the blood of the targets. These would be left for the Lord of the Duat to judge. It is important we remain humble and know our place in the process. We are messengers of justice and not the final judges. Will anyone help me on patrol tonight? I will come with you, Noor. I must get my body moving if I'm to warm up tonight. I am grateful. Let us go. Are you coming, Basim? Leave the stories for later. May I speak to you in confidence? You know you can't. I overheard Mentor Rayhan, emissary earlier. Mentor Rayhan asked if we may come under attack for dealing with rebels in Baghdad. Are we safe here at Alamut? I do not know, but I pity the people who attack this nest of eagles. How goes the watch? Nothing happening at all on Alamut, and I am so hungry. We did not make it to the main canyon. Excellent. We will start there. Thank you. Come, Noor. Follow me. Are you looking forward to your initiation? Yes. It feels like I have been preparing my whole life for this. I could not sleep the night before my ceremony. <laughs> From excitement and a small bit of fear, if I am to be honest. We all fear the unknown. But a greater unknown awaits on the other side of initiation. You speak of the Order. 
I see them as monsters from a tale, hiding in dark corners down dark out. This is Moja. Magnificent. Soon, you shall have one of your own. Fulav introduced me to an eagle named Enkidu. He said we have much in common, and not in a complimentary way. She sees something. Follow me. Find a place to hide. What is this place? We must be near the camp. We have the element of surprise. Be ready. Stop making so much noise. Quickly. I am behind you. We must strike fast. Agreed. We must wait for the right moment. Not like the wooden targets, is it? It is not that. This sword. What of it? Mercenaries from Baghdad use these weapons. We must warn the others. Mercenaries from Baghdad. How do you know? Basim recognized the make of the sword. I believe him. Bring him in. How do you know these men were from Baghdad? Growing up on its streets, I have seen their weapons many times. And closely. Behind every mercenary is a man who gave them their orders. Yes, and we must act if we are to learn who that is. We will return to Baghdad, seek Ali ibn Muhammad's help. Ah, oh, of course, Sahib is Zanj. He is a dangerous and delusional fool. Maybe so, but he is one of our only allies in Baghdad. We need him and we need his men. I will go back to Baghdad. Go to Ali. Find out if the Order sent those men. I will. Wafakak Allah. Wafakak Allah.
وداعا أراك لاحقا I must see Al Hassan. He awaits me. How are you feeling on this auspicious day? It is strange, Al Hassan. My head is calmer than I believed it would be. I thought I would be a stormy sea inside. But I am calm and quiet. Because you have dedicated yourself to your training and left nothing to chance. Here, Basa. You have earned this. It is a great honor. I suspect you understand that. Roshan and the others are waiting for me. Go down. And thank you, Al Hassan. I wish I could just take a look into the cave for a moment. This is a big day for him. I would be honored to be called to initiation. How are you feeling? Ready to make the leap. I wish you to know it has been an honor to watch you walk your path. As a novice, and as a man. I am grateful to you for leading the way before me. I am honored. Come, your new robes await. Ah, they suit you well. Come, it is time. How did you feel on that day so long ago? I felt afraid. <laughs> my palms were slick with sweat and my knees were shaking. I cannot imagine you being afraid. Allow me to share a secret with you on this important day. To have courage 
means to act in the midst of feeling great fear. Bassem ibn Ishaq, are you ready to leave your life behind and walk the path of shadows? I am. Are you ready to give up who you once thought you were? Ready to sacrifice everything you held close? I am. Never forget the tenets you have sworn to uphold. Stay your blade from the flesh of the innocent. Hide in plain sight. Never compromise the Brotherhood. Then, out of the dark, you will come into the light. And from the light, you will return to the dark. Basim ibn Ishaq, you now follow in the Eagle's path. have died and been reborn. Now, fight me as your equal. <laughs> well Just done. Just take that! <laughs> Letting your anger take hold again. How is that for focus? Which one will I strike with next? My dagger or my sword? Traveled unprepared. Left Baghdad in a hurry. Here, drink. <laughs> Ali, he is gone. They took him in the night. They? The Order. Bring him to my tent. If Ali is gone, we are blind. The Order has put a fog over Baghdad and their movements. We must go to Baghdad. Mm. Roshan, Basim, go with Fulev. Leave at once.
We should keep moving. I would like to look around first, if I may. Baghdad and its surroundings call to me. Very well, but do not be long. There will be much to do once we reach Harbiya. Look for a lattice-covered courtyard near Shara's mosque. That is where Noor was gathering his information. That is where we will be. Mm. Now, where does my heart take me? Familiar sights. Greetings once again, Baghdad. Show me what I have missed. I'm going to buy the boat. 
أراد منا So this is a Hidden One's Bureau. I expected some sort of hovel. Some bureaus are. Others can be fitted with gold trim. Wherever space we settle, all that's important is that our occupancy remains a secret. We certainly have that here. Have you found anything helpful? Nothing hinting at Ali's whereabouts. However, Noor was in contact with someone named Beshi. A name I recognize as one of Ali's closest allies within the Rebel Collective. He's a dock worker at the Upper Harbor. See if he's in the area. He may have something to tell us about Ali's disappearance. I have found something! It seems Noor mapped out this very district. Mark the factory's area to the north. What is there? Rebel sympathizers. If Noor visited this area for any reason, it is worth following upon. Understood. These are not strong leads, but they are a start nonetheless. Fulab and I will see what more we can uncover. Be careful. Is there anything more you can tell me about the Sharia district? Why would it be of interest to Noor? The people there are in quiet support of the rebels. Common folk, workers, merchants. Come to think of it, Noor did make mention of a new contact. A merchant. It may be this merchant dwells in Ashara, among the dying leather factory workers. I will keep an eye out for a stall. Nothing can hide from us, Enkidu.
Just a moment. Terwish! Basim? Azizi! I thought you were dead! I feared the same. What are you doing here? You? Your clothes? You are one of them now. How? A hidden one. Under Roshan's guidance. Forgive me, this is all too much. When I did not find you among the dead, I hoped that somehow you had escaped. I spent many nights praying for your life, praying that you found safety. Today, Allah has answered me. I am not worthy of your prayers. What happened that night was not your doing. It was the doing of evil men. You know this. It is why you have chosen to walk this path. It is why I have found my way to Baghdad. Ali ibn Muhammad is brash and sees himself a great hero of prophecy. I loathe the man, but we fight a common enemy. One I must help defeat if my soul is to one day rest. So it is true. You are the rebel merchant who was helping Noor. What has become of him? He clings to life. But he is safe among our people. I am to continue his work and hunt Baghdad's oppressors. Ali was helping Noor get closer to one such man. But as you may know, he has since disappeared. He hasn't disappeared. He has been captured, a fate shared by many rebels of late. Do you know where he is being held? He was taken to the Khurasan Gate guardhouse. But that was weeks ago. You even leave like they do. It is good to see you again. Just watch yourself. You may be in better hands, but I'm still a nagging old man. And Basim, if ever you are feeling a little thievish, come see me. I could use your help. Uh, for a good cause, of course. Oh. 
of justice in Al Khilafa should be taken to the Mavalim court. The Mahdessim would like to remind all merchants that the price limits set upon applicable products are to be strictly observed. No raising of fees this is the outpost Ali was taken to. Go, Enkidu. Are you and the scribe ever going to play nicely together? Not likely. The man thinks he can let loose his tongue just because of his rank. If he gets in my way again, I will kill him myself. And who will record the prisoners then? You? <laughs> you cannot fasten your own braces, let alone write. <laughs> if it means we rid ourselves of his blithering, I will happily learn. We weren't close enough to hear screaming or anything, but... We saw the mess soon after. Hey! Please.
And now you rest. That one looks like a scribe. I will hold on to that for you. This looks like a scribe's quarter. Prisons, all paired with different marks. I am not here. 